All right, my country, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I call it to your time, Zoom. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys have come back to MC Potoski Talk Show here yeah, on YouTube, where you get the latest news and entertainment around the world. If it's your first time on this great platform where we react to all videos that comes our way, please consider to subscribe and Put on your thumb bell, and if you love what we do on this great platform, why don't you give us a thumbs up and also share this video? I appreciate all my subscribers. We got Almighty, we bless you guys. And if you have anything to say about this video, you can also drop your comment at the comment section, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, without wasting more time, guys, let's dive into this video. Uh, I have been following your first release, your assessment since you became governor. It's obvious that you are assigned to be full and image maker, not to serve a number of states, a number, a number of people. Uh, Professor Kuma Saludo, I want to remind you uh, during the time of your campaign, uh, 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 your predecessor security gone down three unknown gunmen they were marked and they were full of people no media covered it Professor Shukuma Saludo on the eve of final number state election more than 118 passenger uh, uh, seaters buses were converted into the region said to be prison inmates these people were not converted back today you are not saying something about it. So for us, Kuma Saludo, your counterparts in the north are, are pampering hardened criminals. Murderers who kill pregnant women, who kill tens of thousands of uh, 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 Nigerian army, southern and Christian soldiers. We are pampering them, they, we are tagging their dependents, and you are killing the innocent people, those who are asking for freedom, those who volunteered, so, guard the, the, our oh, 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 oh. those Nigeria security refuse to protect. So, but you must lose those. A trap for KJGD. I want you to remember that what you are doing, your actions, you and other governors, the actions will hunt your children tomorrow. And you, children of all these governors, and the wife of governors that kept mom, you claim to be first lady. You are not condemning the killing of innocent children, your fellow uh, mothers. Making them widows, making the children fatherless, making them homeless, you are not condemning them. You are, you are, your mootness can be regarded as complicit. You, uh, uh, um, uh, um, State of House of Assembly lawmakers and the cabinet in the, uh, the in instances that keep fires, which of who are good, remember, which of who are good, you can speak, you can make up 100 words in a second. You are no more talking. You are no more talking. You are, you are, you are, your silence can be regarded, will be regarded as complicity to so the killings, to so the growth crime against money is being committed against their fans in the past. Arrest my case. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Onyeka, for your comment today. And uh, for those of you watching on, uh, you know, uh, watching, you look at the screen, you will find out the security outfit in, Kals in Katsina State, they are allowed to carry AK-47 but not in the Afra land, not in any other part of the country that any security outfit is allowed to carry AK-47. So you people now understand what is going on. Welcome to the program. Yes, good evening from here. Your first time ever calling this place. First time ever. And I've been watching and I've been watching you now for four years. And this is the first time ever. I've been wow. calling you show. Sure. Wow. All right, you're welcome. Yes. Thank you very much, Martin. My name is Ayo. Um, I am Miko, to be precise. I'm a, I'm a Yoruba man. I'm a Yoruba boy. And I've been watching your program for so long because your teaching is not just, it's not just, you, you don't just teach, you don't just teach or just make broadcasts about, you know, the Afrans alone. You know, you, you, all your teachings, you know, anybody with good conscience that wants freedom for the people of Africa in general will, will learn a lot from your teaching. 
and and that's the reason why like i'm so addicted to your shows every time you come live even you come live at at five five o'clock in the morning i will always make sure like i'm on i'm on your live program if i don't watch it up to, to the end i will save it and i'll watch it later on you know and the reason i was the reason i called for the first time and i said no i need to call mazi for the first time ever is because i just need to like just appreciate you tell you like you're doing you not not just you're not just pretty to just be around alone we the new generation of the eurobars like you always say we the new generation of the eurobars we are watching you we are watching not just you we watching every single freedom fighter that is preaching the gospel of truth to the entire generation of africa we are watching you we are watching all even though in the yoruba nation agitators the biafran agitators we know the real ones among you we know the real ones among the yoruba nation agitators we know the people that is preaching the gospel of truth and of course omar dike himself mazin namdekan we are praying for his freedom and he will be free and he's going to join us in this liberation to liberate the entire race of africa for us to speak the glory of africa to the best way we can put the glory of africa and also um um before i before i get off the phone please mazi i need you to do me a favor because i have a lot of biafran friends you know i i i spent like almost all my life that i've been you know i've been on this planet earth I, I have a lot of Biafran friends. They live in our, they live in our neighborhoods. And when I was back in Nigeria, you know, they we we went to school together. So I still keep in touch with all of them, every single one of them, because I believe that we, the Yoruba and the Biafrans, we brothers. That there's there is no fight that can ever be in between us. You know, our for, our ancestors, our forefathers, they've already done the mistakes that they've done. That's them. We, the new generation of Biafrans and Yorubas, we can never fight with each other, and Nigeria can never ever turn us against each other. It can never happen, not in this time, not in any afterlife, not never ever. So I always have a conversation with my Biafran friends, and one thing that I notice when I'm having conversation with them, some of them, right, they saying that they're gonna vote for Bola Tinubu, and I've been telling them, I say, yo, listen. There is no way you can vote for Tunumbu because we the Yorubas, we don't we don't we're not gonna fight, we're not gonna vote for Tunumbu. And it's not like we hate Tunumbu, we don't hate him. He's a Yoruba man, you know, he's our father. You know, we're trying to put him back on track. And the reason why we're trying to put him back on track is because the presidency of Bola Tunumbu is a punishment for the entire South. And the reason I'm saying is a punishment for the entire South is because the Fulanis, they have an agenda with Tunumbu. Tinumbu, his health is already deteriorating. We all know. Tinumbu, there is no way, even though if God help, if God give Tinumbu long life, Tinumbu can never spend another 20 years on this planet. It's not happening. Yes. And again, if he becomes the president, this Boko Haram chairman, the leader of Boko Haram himself, Shetima, is vice president. <laughs> so we've been, te- we the Yorubas, we've been campaigning among ourselves that Yoruba should never ever vote for anything to Numbu. Yoruba should never compete in any election in this 2023 because yes. election this election in this 2023 is a complete yes. it's a complete sham. The only thing we want is only Yoruba nation. How are we gonna get it? If it is violent, so be it. Yes. If it is peaceful, so be it. Exactly. Anywhere we get it, we must get it. So that is the spirit. I've been coming to all my Biafran brothers. Never ever vote for anything APC because if Tunumbu dies, Shetima is going to be the president mm. automatically, and that is it, it, it is a plan against the South because you said something one time that all these things going on in Nigeria today it is a battle between the South and the and, and the North, yes. and it's absolutely true. Yes. It is completely correct. You know, it is a battle between the South and the North yes. because the North they have an agenda. They have a political, a serious. They play in a serious chess with the entire South. Exactly. And and we the Southerners, we are very smarter than them. But it's just a lot of people in the South. They are so greedy. They just want to fill up their pocket. Yes. That's the thing that is killing them. Yes. And also, you mentioned something. You mentioned something. Couple of years. I don't know. Maybe it's like one year ago, or last year, or early this year. You said. You said. You said on your show. You said we the Yorubas. 
the only way we can have our direct freedom and easy path to our sovereign state of Yoruba nation is, by, is when we start disrespecting our elders. <laughs> and, and we already started doing it. Yes, we, are, yeah. we started doing it because you said it. I, like that's what I said, Mazi. You are one of the people that I cherish a lot when I watch your program. It's not just you don't you don't just talk for just for just talking sake. You talk you you talk for a reason. There's yeah. something there's something that pushes you to make that statement. Yes. And now now Mazi now we are already we are already giving our elders real water water. We are putting our hands in their eyes. No, exactly. So, because we have seen that we have seen that they are the one, they are the one holding our destiny yes. in shambles. Yes. So we are we are giving them we are giving them the real talking drum, you know. <laughs> because you know, we the Yoruba, we believe a lot in talking drum. When we when we beating our talking drum and talking drum is talking. Yes. Anybody that understands the talking drum is the only person that can interpret what the talking drum is talking about. Exactly. So when we are beating our talking drum. <laughs> We are telling them what that talking drum is talking about, and them too, they are understanding. So any of them that do not listen to our sound, we are giving them water, water. That's the code. <laughs> it is not just for the Biafra. It is a, it is a general code. A general code. The <laughs> we we even hear we even hear those who who call our, who call us their enemy talking water, water today. <laughs> Man, the, there is no any any genuine any genuine any genuine Yoruba man mm. would never ever ever hate any Biafra. I give you my word on that. Yes, any that genuine true. Yoruba man or any any true born any true born Yoruba son or daughter would never ever hate Biafra because we we come to realize the truth. Yes, the truth has been the truth has been hidden from us for decades. From for decades, the truth has been hidden from us, and now we have we have seen the, we have seen the truth. And yeah. again, you only say something. You only say something that it is a global fact. It's not just any regular fact. It is a global fact. You only say the secret that they kept away from a black man is hidden in a book. <laughs> that book, that book, that book. Now we are reading that. We are reading book it. Even if it we is going to be, to even if it is going to be five thousand pages, we are reading it. Even, even so, if they make, if they make, if they make the page crypto page, we decode it and read the page. If if they make the page a crypto page, take a page. Oh my God! Decode that crypto. You are really, you are really following. You are really following. You are really following. <laughs> we would be mad. Mazi, I thank you so much for what you have oh done. I, I, I salute you. You know, all hail Biafra. All hail Biafra. <laughs> thank you. Freedom thank you. for Africa. That is what the new the generation of the Yoruba. Yes. Uh, they, will see, they, will see, they will hear that talking from that mm. they have not heard before. They will hear the sound of it. Mm. Because we are not joking with them anymore. We mm. have to get our freedom. Yes. The liberation. The liberation of Biafra and Yoruba nation is the, is the, is the key is the only key to the freedom of Africa. Other That's than it. that, everybody Nothing. is just deceiving themselves. Um, Thank you so much, Matt. My, my brother, so my brother, before you leave, I want to tell you one yes, thing. Sir. You see, yes. uh, I thank you very much for, you know, why I allow you to talk is that, you know, you are our brother from Yoruba. And, you know, whenever you people come, we give you special preferences, you know. so you uh, So, and I want to tell you one thing. You see, the position Biafra people have taken so far, you know, yes. it's going to be water, water everywhere. We are going to fight in Nigeria. Everywhere. So it's not just in Biafra land. And uh, we are not waiting yes. for anybody. You know, we know that uh, we know that uh, in Nigeria today, uh, everybody have yes. everybody have uh, paid the price of one Nigeria. Thank you for watching that video. We appreciate. And this is where I'll be leaving you guys. But if this is your first time on this great channel please do it to subscribe and put on your notification bell so that whenever we upload any video for this great channel you will be the first person to see the video so guys see you guys some other time